Barley Jerseys, a family dairy farm in northern Ohio, have recently put robots to use on their operation. Josh Kepler of WG Dairy Supply says that, understandably so, it's a big change that requires a bit of adjustment on the part of the farmer. The biggest change is the dairyman just to leave it alone and let it do its thing. You know, they're so used to, to milking, you know, five and five that, you know, they're used to being there where now it just milks. And a lot of times we have to tell dairymen just stay out of the barn, let it do its thing. Kepler takes us through the robotic milking process of that Lely Astronaut A4 milking system. So when the cow comes in, it's going to identify her from her, her neck collar. It's going to know how much feed to dispense that cow. It's going to know when the last time she milked, is she due to be milked again? And if she is, it'll go ahead and prep the cow with the brushes and clean the teats and prepare the udder and then it'll put the unit on and it'll milk that cow and when each quarter is done it'll pop that quarter off and that way you're not over milking that one and milk the rest of them and then when she's done it'll spray her, her teat dip and out she goes. Jason Newfer heads up barley jerseys outside of Willard, Ohio up in Huron County. He says the robots have offered pluses in a number of areas. The advantages in technology have been very good. Our heat detection system is excellent helps you find heats <clears throat> much better. The information you can gain from the robot every day is really, really amazing. The number of things that it monitors and sends to the computer for you to monitor, not only on the computer, but you can look at it from your smartphone, from the beach if you wanted to, just to keep an eye on what's going on. The labor, labor savings has been one of the major contributors to going robotic. In the past, for a farm our size, it was very challenging to keep good to keep good help. They wanted to melt cows every day. So as we've done these facility improvements, kind of our number one goal was cow comfort, to keep that in mind. Anytime you can do a better job taking care of cows, they're more happy, they're more productive, and they do a better job taking care of you. So that's one of our biggest goals was to increase cow comfort, and that's really paid off for us on our bottom line. We went from two times a day milking to we're averaging like 3.2 at the moment. And the milking systems aren't the only robots employed on the barley farm. The Juno is a feed pusher. So every hour on the hour, the Juno makes one pass through the feed alley and pushes the feed back to the bunk. So if we're out in the fields doing field work or at an FFA banquet in the evening or whatever the situation might be, the feed's always being pushed up to the cows. So it enables us to take, take advantage of the opportunities the robotic milkers give us and be away from the barn for a few hours and we know the cows still have fresh feed available all the time. Newfer says that his time spent with the cows has become better served as a result of those robots. You now some people wonder, I've had questions, well if you don't milk the cows, how do you know what's going on with your cows? Do you spend as much time with the cows? And my answer is that you spend more time with the cows doing what you need to be doing. More time taking care of the cows, making sure things are right with, with them, not spending eight hours a day milking and doing that kind of thing. So you could, in my opinion, you do a better job, better job taking care of the animals than you did before just because you have more time to do it.